what's in it, like the medicine uh, residues that are in it in tens of nanograms, and that, that, that is an, an informational uh, signature that will communicate with our cells. Apart from that, just plainly in terms of energy, if you drink tap water, you degrade yourself energetically because a human being is six and a half thousand bovi. That is a, yeah, it, it is a, a, a measure that is the same as six and a half thousand uh, angstrom. But there, the scales, the both scales have nothing to do with each other at, at, the other, at, at the, any other point in, in thing. So, uh, tap water is between uh, 100 and 4,000 bovi. So you degrade yourself when you drink that. So water needs to be revitalized. And our food is also degraded by all the things that they have done to it. And the way, the time it took for between the farm and your plate, vitamins go out of it. That's, that's also. So the best thing is to grow stuff yourself. And the best thing, the easiest thing to have uh, vital food is to make your own sprouts of vegetables or stuff. Okay, all right. Um, is there any other questions? Well, about the Codex Elementarius, yes. I was in. I was invited by someone to accompany him and go to Brussels to DG Sanko, the Directorate General of the uh, department that. Uh, Codex Alimentarius is, is in, in. And I asked the Director General, Robert Madeline, I asked him, who are the people, what's their discipline, what's their education uh, of the people who decide for us what is safe and not safe, because it's about safety. Huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, foodstuffs that we have had for 150,000 years, all of a sudden, are not safe anymore, they say. So it's it's a crazy story to begin with, of course, and nobody ever addresses that. But um, he said to me, I don't know. I don't know what is the discipline of the people who d decide whether things are good for us or not within the Codex Elementarius. And then a couple of months later, I was invited to speak about the Codex Elementarius at a political meeting. And there were two people uh, who are, who were in favor of Codex, and there was one was a, a person from the uh, RIVM, Rijksinstituut voor Volksgezondheid en Milieu, and the other one was uh, from the Warenautoriteit. And these are both people who work for the government, basically. And they had this story about how great Codex Elementarius was, until one of the guys said something about vitamin C, and he said something, I, I'm not sure exactly, I have it on tape somewhere, but he said something like, um, vitamin C gets toxic after so many grams. I have actually heard that one before. You can overdose on top of vitamin C after. Yeah, micrograms into one actually, because the, the, the dosage that they say you can take in a day uh, to be safe is 70 five or seventy milligrams. Well, then I start laughing and I said to him, listen, when I went to Australia and I was 12, or 12 hours on a flight, I took 30 grams of the stuff. And look, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, and I arrived without jet lag and I hardly had any jet lag after, afterwards. So that's what vitamin C can do. And it depends on your situation. If you're flying to uh, water, wherever, then you need more vitamin C because there's more from the environment that taxes your body. So you need more vitamin C. And you will know. I mean, if, if you have taken too much, you get this diarrhea sort of thing. Uh, you, you can feel it falling through your system and then you have to run very fast sometimes. But yeah, that's all. That's all. One last final question. Um, the World Homicide Organization, or sorry, I, I love that, instead of World Health Organization. <laughs> the, World, the World Health Organization's um, projections for uh, Codex Alimentarius is actually 3 billion deaths within, I think it's the first, or, or is it three years? 
Well, yeah, it be something I, I, I don't know exactly. Yeah, but yeah, take away people's food because that's what they basically are doing, and people will die. Yeah, sure. So sure. we, we, the whole thing is the Codex Alimentarius is geared to depopulate the earth by at least half, and that's one billion. Yeah. Well, to you, you, you set people up for failure. I mean, if you have no food to sustain your body, your immune system goes out the window, your nutritional status goes out of the window, so everything that comes in in terms of homemade viruses by the CDC, the Centers for Disease Creation <laughs> and the Fatal Duck Administration. Yeah, all those are all those. Things, those are military operations. Nobody knows, but CDC is a military operation. Operation. Yeah. Well, get people down, and they will eventually die. Yeah, sure. And that has been done time and time again. Nobody knows about 